Do you know that a good headline can add a zero to your bank account while a bad headline doesn't? You see, a headline is so important in a copy. Why? Because it's actually a showstopper to make your audience stop whatever they are doing and click on your ad. And many copywriters spend 50% of their time to craft a powerful headline just to attract their target audience. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you the differences between a good headline and a bad headline so that you won't make the mistakes again. Let's deep dive in right now. The first difference between a good headline and a bad headline is a good headline consists any of the 4U formula which is be ultra specific, create urgency, be useful and be unique. While a bad headline is very generic and very weak. When your prospect look at your headline, they want to know what is this copy is about. So by using this any of the 4U formula, it can help them to capture their attention by influencing them to click on your ad. Now the second differences between a good and a bad headline is a good headline consists of one big idea or big benefit to tell your prospect what will they gain if they click on the ad. And a bad headline doesn't tell what's in it for them because your prospect, before they want to click on your ad, they want to know does your product or solution able to benefit them. If your headline doesn't tell the big benefit, they will not click on your ad. So do remember to have a big promise or big benefit in your headline. The third difference is a good headline is genuine and appealing to read, while a bad headline uses clickbait. If you want your prospects to click on your ad, please do not put in any clickbait or put in those over-promised claims that is not realistic. So do remember to make sure that your headline is genuine and appealing to read. Okay, the last difference between a good headline and a bad headline is usually a good headline generates curiosity for your audience while a bad headline makes your audience yawn. By generate curiosity, you are actually triggers an emotion to make them feel curious what is this content about. So do remember if you want to craft a good headline, put in a curiosity element or either a question or something unusual that they have not seen before. Okay, I hope you guys have benefited from this video to understand what are the differences between a good and a bad headline so that you won't repeat that mistakes again. Well, if you really want to attract them to click on your ad, do remember to spend some time to craft a powerful, genuine headline that's able to appeal them to click on your ad. Well, that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.